All right, we are back with the Arsenal career mode. So in this episode, we have 334 million to spend and we are going to complete the uh, summer transfer window. So we need to sign a few players and also decide on the future of some too. So we got a lot to get through. Let's get right into it. Um, You guys, once again, hit 1500 likes on the first episode of season three. You guys have done that for the start of every season so far. So I appreciate that so much. Plus you guys are seeing episode two today. So drop a like if you guys want to keep seeing Arsenal crew mode episodes daily. Let's keep trying to aim for a thousand likes each video. And also, of course, hit the sub button down below if you have not. All right, first comment, could Victor all him and be the perfect striker to rotate with Gabriel Jesus. Yeah, so that's one decision we gotta make in this episode is Gabriel Martinelli, is he the player who should be the backup striker or should we move him back to being a left winger? and sign a new backup striker. If we did that, all of would be amazing, but I kind of feel like he's almost a little bit too good. Like, I don't know if a player like him, like Isak, like Calvert Lewin, if they're almost just too good to be a backup striker. And the next one, I think it'll be more realistic to sign either Jonathan David or Ivan Tony as our backup striker. Yeah, I feel like Ivan Tony 79, Jonathan David 84 might be closer to what we're looking for as a backup striker in terms of it being like it makes sense. Like Jonathan David coming from Southampton to be our backup striker kind of makes more sense than Ozyman going to Arsenal, but I don't know. And the last one, you should should keep Gabriel because when a team wins the title, there are usually little to no changes to the key parts of the team. So in the last episode, Real Madrid have come in for Gabriel, and he's been good. Him and Saliba have been good, but I think Saliba has been the, has been a little bit better. So if we were to let one of them go, it probably would be Gabriel. But that is also true. I mean, we got we made it to the Champions League semis, we won the Premier League title. I don't really know if a starting center back would leave a team like that. Plus, I don't really know who we would replace him with. So like, say we sell Gabriel, who would we replace him with? I mean, there's Tamori. There is Joe Gomez, there's Upamecano, I mean, Alaba, John Stones, Skriniar. There's options, but I mean, there's only a few that are arguably on the same level as Gabriel. And that might be Skriniar. Everyone else is arguably a downgrade. And I mean, we were really close to a Champions League final. We were literally a post away from reaching the Champions League final. So I think for that reason, we're going to give Gabriel one more season. The uh, Gabriel Saliba partnership, we're going to give him one more chance to see what they could do in season three. Because I feel like after winning the Premier League, it kind of doesn't make sense for Gabriel to leave. And I saw some comments saying in real life he wants to Arsenal, so it kind of makes sense. I just think one more season for this partnership, see what they could do. If this season we don't win the Champions League, probably Gabriel is gone for season four. I think honestly, that's the most realistic thing to do. And it makes a lot of sense. I think the main factor here being though, is that all the replacements, I feel like we're downgrades and I wasn't crazy about any of them right now. And I think next season, the, the upgrades we could make at center back will be much higher because players will have grown. So it makes sense for this season to keep Gabrielle. And that is what we are doing. Still does not change the fact though, that we need to sign a center back to replace Ben White. And since Lamptey's out for eight or seven months, we need to sign a center back who can also play right back just to have more cover there while Lamptey's recovering from his injury. I mean, Frederick Rowe could play there. He seems like he has a stat that's too, so we might do that, but we still need another center back. And then a CDM and possibly a striker. That's on the list. Okay, Man City have an offer for Emil Smith Rowe for all 95.6 million. I mean, since he's not really a starter, that could be something we think about, but right now I don't think we're gonna entertain that yet. Okay, so Patino has been loaned out again this time to Hoffenheim. Okay, so for that backup CDM spot, I think I've narrowed it down to like three players. Um Zakaria, since he went to Juventus, we're gonna take him off. Um Moder from Brighton, probably not good enough. And then Sandro Tonali, probably too good for right now. So it is between Pablo Rosario, Calvin Phillips, who's now Real Sociedad, and also Kakaret. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. That just sounds it's a it's a weird name. Probably it's really between Phillips and Kakaret. I just don't really know who is the better player. What is better option here like Phillips seems like he's much better on the ball than uh than Kakaret but Kakaret's younger though he's like two he's actually four years younger I do like the idea of bringing Calvin Phillips to Arsenal though with Partey being like 30 almost 31 I mean a season or two down the line maybe Calvin Phillips takes that starting spot away from Partey plus he'd only be 43 million like flat 43 million probably because his contract uh, is expiring I think I definitely want to sign Kakaret in a series I just think for this series Calvin Phillips kind of makes more sense to me it's just it's it's speaking to me more plus literally 43 million we should not have to pay more than 43 million for him okay we just got gun to one real so dad can you stop what are you doing 43.7 just take the deal come on calvin come back to england why are you in spain do you even speak spanish it doesn't even matter because he's joining arsenal could be a backup midfielder backup cdm actually that's gonna be his main spot with potential to become the starting cdm at some point in the future okay what do he mean he's 85 rated I feel like he might want a big wage um i'm gonna do flat a hundred thousand Hopefully he doesn't walk away. Okay, he wants a little more, bit more signing bonus. So that was a good that was a good wage. And Calvin Phillips is okay, what is this? Uh what is this? Okay, I thought he I thought he said no to it because it's literally glitched. 
My manager is in his chair. He's in the chair. I thought he said no to the contract because like the camera was weird there, but he actually accepted it. Just it was glitched. So Calvin Phillips joins. Honestly, he looks right at home in an Arsenal kit. And like I said, he's coming for that starting spot once Partey starts uh, decreasing. Okay, so we still got some more signings to make, but we got Man City now. And this is a good chance to try competitor mode on once again because we played with these sliders in the last episode. We, we won both games. So I want to try competitor mode on it. It might be ridiculous. I might get slapped, but I want to try it at least. And I feel like Man City are a pretty good team to to try it against. So Saka is still injured. So Matoweke starts ahead of him. And we might see Calvin Phillips debut in this game at some point. And uh, let's see how Man City play with, uh, I haven't played competitor mode on in a while. So let's see how this goes. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I'm a little scared. I haven't played with competitor mode on in a long time. And I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit frightened cause it's Man City. We will see how they play. See if it makes the game a little bit harder. We'll, we'll test it out, you know, but okay. Where's the defense right now? Where's the, oh, okay, Jesus. Almost just scored that if that ball was a little bit better. But in Kunku, he's got three goals and three assists to start the season. He's had a great start. Once again, we are looking for a okay. I can't do that. Okay, I gotta wake up a little bit. Relax. Relax. Okay, relax. Morris. Morris to Foden. And Ramsdale makes a great save. And we avoid as of now. Conceding the first goal. Gabrielle, good block. Okay, we're gonna ignore that that shakiness even happened. And okay, that's a almost a really good cross to Gabriel Jesus. Sterling gets it to Foden. Oh, there's like a pattern mode. There's the skills. Oh, it's just a, it's a nightmare to defend. Oh, I'm so not used to this. We played for this. We played with competitive mode on for a while when I got used to it, but oh, it's been a while. Oh, look at Foden's dribbling. That's just, what am I supposed to do there? Okay, we got to lock in. This is, uh, this is going to be something. Honestly, not sure if I like that or not. And Kunku and Jesus, I need you to, I need you two to take over. Man City had a very uh, down season. Okay, what is that pass though? Telemans, Telemans, please. He has not scored yet, but he's going to score there. That is Tillman's first goal for Arsenal under very weird circumstances. I don't even know what just happened. It's nice to see our new 100 and I forgot how much you paid. I think I think we paid straight up 100 million. 100 million dollar man. And I mean, first goal. I don't know what that pass was, though. It was very awkward. OK, 20 minutes in. This is uh, this is 1-1. I feel like with the competitor boat on, they do a lot more skills, but they also play different. Like, I don't know if it's something about the way they play is just a little bit different. It's hard to try and uh, try and try and explain. Oh, I just okay. I need it. I need to just clear the ball. I'm having issues right now. Corner in. Clear it, please. And Kungu, good clearance. There's a ball to Foden. Okay, Gabriel is having a good game. His uh, future is secured at least for this season, and he's uh, he's looking good so far. Not gonna lie. Hey, Matawake is just by himself here. Into Jesus. Back to Matawake. It's beautiful. Matawake shot was deflected almost into the net. That was a little bit awkward. Almost the goal though. That is into Martin Odegaard. Who is on the far post here? It is Matawake himself shot deflected by Ruben Diaz's face. You know what? Let's try this again. Actually, we're going to do a little dink cross with Odegaard. Dink it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that looks like it's going to work so often. We're going to win that though. Get it to Nkunku. Nkunku shot. And that looked a little weird, but it's off target. And Nkunku is looking like a different player this season. He just drooled past everyone. The shot though is right at Ederson. Hey, the man seems like he's a little uh, more accustomed to the English game, I think. Oh, Gabrielle, another, another tackle right there. Further proving why it was maybe a good decision to keep him in Kunku. What a ball. And that is actually into the net. I got to watch that again because I think the ball, it looks like it went over Ederson. But I, we got to see this though. Hey, that starts with a Gabrielle steal though. Um, So it's a good ball over the top. And Kunku shoots a very weird angle. And it's just one of those near post goals, I think. Like, should Ederson be saving this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's over his head. He should be saving that, but you know what? I'll take it for now. This is a uh, 2-1, 41st minute. I mean, competitive mode or not, our team is still very good. Jesus, Jesus volley attempt. Ederson makes a good save. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's send this corner in. Why not? That actually doesn't look bad. It's Saliba, and that's... We've actually scored from a corner. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Am I dreaming right now? We can see first, and then we just strike back with three goals in the first half. That is what a championship-level team does. And I am so surprised. Saliba climbs, and it's actually a beautiful header on target. And a guy at the near post, or far post, actually can't do anything with that. Wow, 3-1. We are we are absolutely flying. Okay, second half. Let's just keep it up. That's a great ball to Sterling, though. Okay, that's beautiful. Oh, I missed the tackle. Ram still makes the save, though. And that was pretty dangerous. I thought I, I, thought I was going to hit that first tackle, but we did not, though. Bowden just got a little bit of space there. Tomiyasu, that is a beautiful clearance, though. Okay, we just can't let them score early. We'll be good. Oh, come on. That's so... Was that deflected off two of my players into the net? Okay, Riyad Mara scores, and this is 3-2. There have been some weird goals in this game. It is just a goal. There's a shot from Mahrez. 
and oh yeah it's actually off saliba's like arm and it just trickles into the net look at it look at it he gave the ball a high five thanks saliba thanks all righty three two saliba own goal that's uh that's not good to start second half away k to jesus jesus with a shot and that's a good save by ederson and he's gonna decide to punch it away there and we're not gonna win that but odegaard should win that okay no he doesn't never mind but i believe that's another good steal by uh the main man gabriel in two telemans and ederson makes a good save again okay holland's on that's not good but in kunku all oh, the turn of pace there turn of pace turn of pace cut inside a little bit cut inside a little bit and kunku shot that was almost deflected again how many deflected goals are we gonna get in one game in kunku little turn cross oh that's beautiful oh it looks so good okay get it top of the post or top of the box actually i didn't mean to shoot that actually wasn't bad from gabriel bro thomas Partey's injured now why are all my players getting injured oh thomas Partey, he can't be hurt bad oh that's some room that's some room they might tie this up they are gonna tie this up it is of course erling holland and this is 3-3 um i think i think holland's just drifting and we just we just lose him for a second okay Partey is good but we're gonna give Cal calvin phillips his debut i want to see the new man in the new colors calvin phillips probably the future starting cdm of this team and this is 3-3 we still got 30 minutes left what a game kunku gets that to jesus i did not think he'd get that pass off we're gonna go to tyranny tyranny jesus oh there's some space here there's a little bit of space give it to nkunku and kunku oh i always had so much space there and i did not even do anything with it all to jesus metaweke metaweke it's gotta have the first touch there he does okay we got no cross option that i like though it's gonna slow it down metaweke get that to telemans in to Odegaard. Okay, that ball was not at Odegaard's feet. Ball to Holland. That is going to be out to Sterling. It was actually been a danger man in this game. But Tomiyasu, how did we not get that? How did we not steal the ball there? Oh, it's going to be De Bruyne now. How did we not steal the ball though with Tomiyasu? I literally thought I won the ball back. I got to see it again. I literally thought I stole the ball right there. But I guess Sterling dragged it back or something. I was so sure we were just going to take the ball and turn around that corner. But Sterling might just got a foot in there and dragged the ball back. And then De Bruyne basically has a free volley oh that was that was just weird okay we're gonna do um smith row for nkunku and then we're gonna do matt eric martinelli for mataweke man four three this game has been insane here we got four minutes which is not a lot of time but it's some time so we could do this come on we can tie this game up odegaard oh jesus into smith row beautiful smith row doesn't quite have the pace gonna get it to jesus gonna drag it back to martinelli and this game is gonna end four four martinelli scores i think that's two and two for him and you know what? 4-4? This is an instant classic. Literally what you call a Premier League instant classic. Okay, we were very patient here. Thankfully, we find the right man to shoot, and it's Martinelli, and it's into the back of the net. Man, this is honestly, this is honestly been one of the funnest, funnest the word, funnest games I've played in this series, I think. It's been a bit ridiculous, but it's been fun, though. We got four added minutes. This is not even over. Okay, please. After all that, after all that, just end it. Oh, that should be a steal. Oh, how do we not get that forward? That is sickening. Okay, please. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Holland. Holland. Don't do it to me, please. Literally don't. Literally stop. Little oh, he's, I gave him the inside. Tierney. Oh, good challenge. I'm gonna throw up. It is 4-4, and this is the last kick of the game. Are they gonna go short? They are gonna go short. Okay. I don't oh oh Smith Row, please. Smith Row, please. Okay, just clear it. Okay, we survived that last little encounter. Man, 4-4 is actually insane. There was definitely some ridiculousness, but honestly, I think competitor mode might be the way to go. Because that felt, it felt more difficult, and honestly, it was more, it was more fun. But man, that is, a, that is an instant classic. And also, Nkunku is up to a 92, which is pretty nuts. Okay, next game is Wolves. Asaka is back from his injury. Other than that, regular starting 11. And it's going to be a 2-0 win, courtesy of Gabriel Jesus with two goals. Okay, so we are on transfer deadline day now. So we need a potential backup striker maybe and also a center back that you can play right back so center backs they can play right back uh Simicon, he is one of them also jordan teze from napoli and he looks actually pretty good he's uh he's six foot and he's he is rapid quick so options are him and also reese oxford is another option wasn't he like former formerly at west ham wasn't he like the youngest uh player to make their debut i think i mean the man is six four i didn't realize he was that tall so he's not as quick he's more of a center back compared to a right back where i feel like um teze is more of a right back compared to a center back honestly i'm feeling teze more he looks like honestly the more interesting player like that speed 
defense capabilities and he's gonna be only like 20 to 30 million that's not that's not too expensive at all so this is basically to replace ben white slash lampty for the first half of the season okay they want 30 million can you give me a win here 29 just give me give me a w on my resume thank you 29 million so jordan teze is signed up to basically be ben white's replacement in this team so we need to now figure out this martinelli left wing or striker situation my issue with this if we make martinelli a left winger and we sign a new striker it's pretty much gonna mean we're gonna have too much too many good players on the bench because then it'd be like smith throw would have to be in the reserves or i guess tavares would and we we'd slide everyone over like this i just don't know if that's something we do or if maybe we save that for january we give a chance to martinelli to be the backup striker i think that's what we'll do i like jonathan david i like ozzyman for future potential signing that striker but i think if we picked one of them now one of them now it'd be overkill we'd have too many players almost okay so terry Henry, uh the next Terry Henry regen has been loaned out once again this time to atalanta in italy he's only like 75 rated so he wasn't gonna get that much game time oh man so ozzyman has been a approached by Spurs 96.1 million oh man if he goes to Spurs that pretty much means we can't sign him for the rest of the series and uh that is a lot of money I just still think like if we sign him it it creates too many problems and it solves like he's almost too good for the bench and Martinelli so far has two goals in two games so he's he started the season off well I think we just keep things as they are so Osman might go to Spurs and uh that might mean we can't sign him for the rest of the series but I mean that's that is, uh, that's football sometimes. So that is it for the transfer window. So four signings, Tielemans, Lamptey, Calvin Phillips, and Teze. I feel like they're all going to help us. And we did, we look at the profit. We have a, we actually have a plus three, almost million net spend. So Chelsea sold Lukaku, Havertz, and Broja and brought in Correa, Yerente, and Toribo. Um, Everton spent a lot, but they also sold a lot. Um, Liverpool, Madison, Neves, and Manian. I mean, that's, that's a big window. Um, uh, Man City did not buy anyone. Man United. Man United spent a lot of money. Whoa. Millet, Kobo, Keen, Brahim, Foyth. That's a lot of players. Um, apparently, uh, Ozzyman did not go to Spurs yet, but they did sign Tony Cruz. But that is it for transfer to that day. And whoa, look at that. Ozzyman rejected that move to Spurs. I mean, that's interesting. Maybe the fact that he rejected Spurs, we might have to sign him at some point just because of that. But I, I really like the way this team is looking. I like the addition of Phillips, Tillemans, um, Teze, Gundogan. So there's a lot of new faces, but I do like we still have the core team here. And we also got some depth in the reserves too. So come on, let's show that depth against uh, Norwich. Calvin Phillips and Frederick Rose start in this game. And this game against Norwich is going to be 3-2. That's a little bit closer than I would have liked. But Jay Susan Saka, that's a 3-2 win. All right, so Champions League is back. Um, I do think the game is like a little bit broken right now for some reason, but we're going to get to that in a second. Um, our Champions League group is Juventus, Club Bruges, and I do not know how to pronounce that last team. But we got Juventus and Club Bruges. We should finish top top or seconds group at least. But we kind of got a problem here. This game is a little bit glitched. Like, what team is fourth in that group i don't even know and we go back to the main menu and it says play match and it says you do not have enough match fit players to play your next game this means your match will be forfeited three nil um i'm confused because there's no game here as you can see we're on the 12th and the game is on the 13th it's the game is a little broken but i think if we sim to the juventus game we just sim one day it should be fine and we should be able to play this game now which it looks like we will okay it's a little bit weird but i mean everything's fine everything looks fine um that team in fourth still has no name but okay let's play our first uh champions league game so i mean competitor mode that last game was really fun it was a lot of goals so we're gonna keep it on for now and further test it and we are facing a juventus team that honestly doesn't look bad at all man made it to the semifinals last season this season i don't know what to expect because i mean being that close you can either go further and make the final this year or worse and actually like get knocked out earlier i don't even know i feel like we did get very lucky last season we face sevilla benfica in the round of 16 and quarters i feel like that's that's very lucky so this season might be a different story i don't know we'll have to have to wait and find out but telemans is gonna get us started almost scoring a screamer i was actually saved i didn't even notice that okay that was a good save then okay odegaard odegaard what do we got we got a finesse shot from odegaard and it was over the net that actually wasn't that good okay okay juventus calm down calm down is that jordan moreno i believe it is he's trying to find Vla Vlaovic, but thomas Partey. He's just not having any of that. Right, Odegaard, Jesus. Jesus is very deep here. I don't really like that, to be honest. Gonna get that to Odegaard. Odegaard could have got that to Tillemans. And instead, we just gave it right back to them. That is a good steal, though. Come on, let's let's strike first. We need to start the Champions League off with a bang. And Odegaard is there for the bang. But it's it's over the net. Okay, and Kunku, what do you got? We need to get a little bit closer to goal. Man, and Kunku just feels... He feels different this season. The man is like, he's even faster than he was last season. Odegaard, a little dink into the box. Oh, that looked, it looked so good. It needed to be, it needed to be a little deeper though. I mean, if we start this game off decent, I would just like a goal to show for it. Cause right now there's just a goose egg on the board. Tillman's. Oh, that is, oh, it was beautiful. 
Um, Partey into Odegaard to Jesus. Jesus shot, and there is goal number one. Man, we we are looking so good right now as a team. Some good little passing there, and 24 minutes in, this is uh this is one nil. Okay, let's keep it up. Oh, what a ball to Jesus from uh, Odegaard. Oh, we can't repay the faith though, or repay that ball. It's a good ball to Marino, Tomiyasu. Okay, that's a good turn by Marino, but Tomiyasu, he's fighting. He's not gonna win it though. Oh, that's a chance for a shot. That's a pretty good chance. Vlaovic, too much space, but Ramsdale makes the save. And their corners are as bad as mine. And Kunku clears every single corner almost every single time. It always doesn't even get by the first man. Isn't that like rule number one on a corner? Get it by the first man? Okay, Marino is just a tank right now. I cannot get the ball off him. And that was beautiful. Vlaovic does score. I mean, they're getting this ball in and out, like top of the box, back to the... Back to Vlaovic, and okay, we, we got to get a foot in there at least. That's just a ball right by number six. That is Gabriel, I think. I mean, it was a good ball. We just, we, we can't let him score that easily. Back, uh, gonna get that to Jesus. Where's the response? Where's the response? Okay, I need to stop shooting from that far out. I need to, I need to chill out. I'm telling you, it's like my strange addiction. It's just, I like long shots. Okay, our good start rolled out by their second, or their goal. So, second half begins. We'll see what team comes out looking like the better, better team here. I am liking competitor mode on though. I am liking it, not gonna lie. Feels like a little fresh. It's definitely definitely feels more difficult as of now compared to what we've been playing on so that's a good thing if we get a little bit more competitive games even if we have to sacrifice some frustration and my heart rate i think i will do that odegaard gets to nkunku and kunku where's where's the turn of pace he was very slow there and jesus loses that okay juventus are uh they're playing a bit better since they scored maybe just a little bit it's a good ball to moreno i'm just trying to block this pass to the middle they always want to do it they always want to drag it back okay that's that's some pretty good passing and I just fell asleep with Gabriel. I don't know why. I should have. I should have slid tackle there. If I would have slid in. I might have actually blocked this. Once this ball gets. Once this ball is played like right there. I just don't know what to do. I don't know if I would have blocked that actually. It's just a. It's just I don't know, a great little cutback, and we can't block it. Okay, this is two one. Okay, we need to sharpen up a bit because this team is not messing around. Okay, we're getting torched right now. We are getting torched all of a sudden. Vlaovic scores their third. Oh, I, that passing was just. We were so just caught flat footed. Look at this passing. Boom. Boom. Goes to Vlaovic eventually, and he just... I, I just went over with Gabriel, or actually Saliba. Man, we scored first, and then the defending has just turned into absolute trash. Well, we need to score quickly. If we score one quickly, we'll get back in this. Okay, that is a great challenge. Yeah, they got the momentum. They got all of it right now. We need to uh, we need to score quickly if we want a chance here. Odegaard gets that to Tierney. Tierney. Oh, we could have got that to Jesus. That was not a bad idea. We got 15 minutes. Matoweke is on for Saka, and Gundogan is on for uh, Tielemans. Okay, I don't know what they... Well, I don't even know what that was, but can we try and punish them for it? Matoweke. You got fresh legs, and Kunku is not going to beat that guy right there. But we might have we might have a cross. We do. I wanted that to be just a little tiny header. Back. Gundogan has a chance to shoot. What was that shot from Gundogan? Oh, that was like a chip flip shot. That makes me sick. I guess I didn't really, I didn't really set his feet well enough to shoot that, actually. Okay, we win that, and we just get right back to him. Oh, we've just been not good enough in this game. They caught us off guard with literally one goal, and then we just have not been good enough. That was a beautiful ball, though. That was beautiful. Yeah, this season this season might be a little bit different. We're going to get rattled at home by Juventus 4-1 in the first uh, Champions League group stage game. Um, and Kunku to Jesus. Back when Kunku, man, their defending has just been so good in this game. That first goal we scored since then, it's literally been all them. And that is it. 4-1. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember the last time we lost at home like that. So yeah, not a good way to start our Champions League campaign. This season might be might be a bit different. All right, next game is Southampton. I think uh, first team actually. Let's put Calvin Phillips for Partey and also Frederick Rowe for Gabriel against uh, against Southampton away. I would like a win to bounce back, and that's gonna be a three one win. Saliba, Gabriel, Jesus, and Jesus. And Jesus off to another hot start in the league. Okay, Carabao Cup against Norwich. First chance for the second team to see some action together. Hopefully not knocked out in the very first first game and 5-4 on penalties we win um i am very very uh concerned that it was that close um we got an offer for smith throw from real madrid 5 million plus kimavinga i mean that's 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 very interesting um west brom next game first team away from home it's gonna be it's gonna be a 2-1 win in kunku and in kunku okay one more game this is uh, hopefully gonna get us back to winning ways in the champions league it is going to be 3-0 in kunku and kunku and gabriel jesus okay the glitch is back like we have no game and why is there no badge on the top left this is so weird i'm guessing to fix this you just sim a day i'm hoping praying yeah 
Okay, that seems like that's what does it. It's very, uh, very weird though. Okay, so Vandevort loaned out to Napoli for uh, the rest of the season. And also that guy from Japan who we made into a cam and he's like 68 rated. He is loaned out to Levante for the second half of the season too. So to start the season, we were sitting in first with uh, a game at hand, which is good. Five wins, one draw to six is a pretty good start. And Champions League, despite that, that horrible loss, at least we won our next game. I think competitor mode is probably the way we're going to go forward. I feel like it does. It does make it considerably uh, more challenging and that's what we want. So we're going to, we're going to stick with it on for now and just keep the sliders probably the same we just we got to be sharper against juventus that was that was a bad loss boy jesus 10 goals in nine games and kunku eight and six in nine games it's been a very good start for them saka slow start he was injured but hopefully next episode he really picks it up and yeah i like the signings we made i don't really know what to expect from this season but i do like the signings we have made so we would just have to wait and see so of course drop a like in the video if you guys enjoy this episode you want to keep seeing episodes daily um hit the sub button we're on the road to 100,000 subs of course and i will see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day